that Asian Americans are human beings. Asian Americans are just as American as everyone else. That these women did not deserve to be targeted like this and have their lives taken away. To see these six women's lives snuffed out like this in such brutal and senseless fashion, it's heartbreaking because you think about these women, their lives, their hopes, their dreams, their children, their families who will never see them again. And why? Because of this senseless act of racially fueled violence that is unfortunately becoming all too common in our country. We should be treating hate crimes as such. And make no mistake, these women were targeted on the basis of their race. It's also true of the woman in Flushing, of the man on the subway, of the restaurant worker. They're all targeted because of their race. We all know this, and we have to start acting like it as a government, as a people. Some of these incidents were not treated as hate crimes, and that's unacceptable. I grew up Asian American in New York, and I, I was always accustomed to a certain level of bullying, of racism, but it took a form of, of mockery, of invisibility, of disdain, but that is metastasized into something far darker. You can feel it on the streets in New York. When I, I've been walking the streets with my family, you can sense that the energy has changed, that now what started out as invisibility or a sense of foreignness has now become hatred, violence, assault, people feeling that we do not belong in our own country or in our own streets. Here in New York, it's taken the form of restaurant workers being punched in the face and assaulted, of someone being slashed on the subway, of a woman in Flushing getting shoved to the ground brutally and needing stitches in her head, of another woman having acid thrown in her face. We have to come together and say that this cannot be allowed to continue in New York, in this country, that anti-Asian racism is deadly. It's real, it is growing stronger and more powerful. This is a time for mourning and grief for many, many people in the Asian American community, for my wife Evelyn and me. But it's also a time for action. We have to call on our leaders to do more.